Hi everybody, my name is Spammels and welcome back to Sophie's Curse. It's two o'clock, we're gonna try to get to four o'clock without any more stalling. Let's begin! Okay, as always, check the safe spot, it's on A. Henry. Some neighbours complained about hearing screaming coming from Sophie's house. When the police arrived at around 10pm, Sophie answered the door. She said the screams were not coming from there. Police officers declared that she wasn't alone, they heard somebody else in the house and she told them she was with her mom. A few days later, the same officers saw Sophie's photo. One of them claimed that she was not the girl who opened the door, but the other officer argued that his partner was wrong and that the girl they saw that night was really Sophie. One month later, Clarissa was also reported missing. One day she went to school and she never came back. Some people believe they ran away together. Let's break this down. Parents go out Emily's home alone. What? Emily? Uh, Sophie's watching a horror movie home alone. Whoa! Hi! Talking about you. Sophie is watching a horror film home alone and then she calls the police for a second before calling her best friend Clarissa to let her know that somebody is watching her. So on that point alone, what if Sophie, the real Sophie, was alive and she was calling the police, but then during that one second call, it was too late. Whatever it was, got to her. Whoa, 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 it's getting to me now. Run, run, run. What if that person, who I'm assuming is Sophie, but there's argument to say that it's not. What if that person killed Sophie in that one second? And then that per... I, I know this is crazy, go with me here. I'm trying to say it as clearly as I can. This is like real time speaking. The police are called because the neighbor, go to be, the neighbor hears noise. The demon answers the door. Are they gonna fail? Are they gonna fail? I haven't got time. No! Oh! That was cool. Like Spider Man. Ah! Police come to the door. They speak to the ghost of girl posing as Sophie. But the cop says, that's not Sophie. She, he sees a photo, that's not Sophie. At that point, Sophie, uh, the ghost totally kills Sophie and then goes after Clarissa. I don't know, I'm gonna give up with this theory crafting bullshit. I'll let you work it out yourself, D error. But by any stick, I'm looking forward to the next set of messages. I do love a good mystery, I really do. Every for, hang on, I can't talk and punch numbers and do the Rubik's Cube of Love. There we go. I swear the time is getting lower on that to get it done. Here's, here's another developer hint. Every sounds are happening. I don't like it. She's got something stuck in her throat, clearly. Every ghost story has to have an air of mystery to it. Without that, it's just cheap jump scares. So like Five Nights at Freddy's, let's be honest. Yes, there is tons of backstory behind Five Nights at Freddy's and the bite of 87 that led up to like what's going on. But ultimately, there's no mystery behind it because the animatronics are explained as, you know, they're, they're robots. They have a programming issue, they come to life. That's it. So there's no mystery. But what's the mystery behind this? Hopefully we're gonna find out. Oh, and I, Emily wants to play it. Well, 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 go, go, go. I know we're discussing multiple horror games, but I've got nothing better to say, to be honest, so we're just gonna deal with that. Oh, oh. Emily wants to play. That had a, a ghost story behind that mystery, mystery story behind that. Like, who, why were the dolls possessed? What happened? Where did everybody go? How did Emily die? Are we safe? Safe good? I think we're good. It's lasting a bit longer than normal. That really did last a bit longer than normal. Uh, how's everyone doing? Crank you because I'm by you. What? Whatever. Okay, A is the safe spot. I think like every two hour stint we get like a new experience to kind of be aware of. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I heard... No, okay. It must have been the motor. You know, what curveballs have we got ahead? What new things are we going to have to deal with? Oh, jeez. A is going fast. They're definitely falling faster and faster. 20... You know, 19 to 1. Uh, touch a bit of B. This thunderstorm is terribly timed. Why could it not be a perfectly calm day outside? 
pick up the laptop from the kitchen because it's a laptop, it's wireless. We'll bring that to Grandpa's room and we'll close the door. And we'll keep cranking that one light. Everything will be just fine. Stand still. Go to the laptop. Oh no, even better. Let's gather all of the lamps up. Take them all to Grandpa's room. Grab this laptop. That way, whichever one becomes the safe spot will ultimately only be Grandpa's room. Okay, D is the safe spot. And if they fail, the laptop's in our lap already. Come on, we, we've already worked a way to get around this. Why all this running around, really? This is silly. We've debunked you, game. We know what your, your tricks are. You're not going to get us this time. Grandpa's doing great. Has he moved? Has he fuck? Nope, he's, he's exactly the same. I'm still sticking to my theory that he's not really there. I look forward to reading your comments. No spoilers though, please. But I'm looking forward to see if... Well, if you comment. Because I don't really get many, to be honest. I'd love more, because... Go, we're running, we're running. I love interacting with all of you, and... I, I've had Titanic re week recently. And I loved that because there was so much interaction. When that ended, and, you know, this, this normal, normal programming resumed, things always drop down. And that's sad. I really want to talk to you guys. I don't want to be seen as this, I play the games for the views. I really don't. I go where my heart takes me. I play what I want to play. And I want to talk to you. I want your opinions. I really do. Because it makes it more fun. The best thing about computer games, especially horror computer games, and the amazing thing about Let's Plays and recording them is the jump scares, the reactions, and the experience. But then what's even better than that is sharing that experience and discussing it. I would love, like, I brought my friend Cash out last. Uh, we played Rocket League a few times. And Doom, most recently. Um, I, I don't know where to go. We're going to D. No! Shit, I, I hesitated and it went down. Okay, safe spots on D still. I bought Cash Outlast and it was so cool because that very first jump scare when you like, literally the very first one you walk into the library and you get that scare it was great to be able to talk to him and go that one moment what did you think how did you feel oh cool I felt the same way in fact that's how I found Markiplier because I was googling uh, YouTubing Outlast just you know let's plays because I wanted to see how other people experienced it and see if it matched my own experience. And that is ultimately the beauty of YouTube and why I like being here and how I want to stay here. It's such a, a linked community. I'm here alone on my chair in front of my computer doing this, but really I'm not because hopefully I'm gonna be engaging with a lot of people, all of you guys. And I would love the opportunity to trade stories to see how you were affected by all of this. Five, one, one, nine, shit. Five, one, one, oh, come on, it changed. Three, four, eight, five. That sound scares me. It sounds like something out of Jurassic Park. The kind of sound. My voice is going. Shit, I need to get a drink. Crank A, all of them are flatlining. Oh, we need to hurry. Tour the building. We seem to have an infinite amount of stuff to break as well, because I've heard the same light bulb being plowed like 20 times now. Cutlery and plates, they're cracking. Oh, an error on B already? Touch this. How long is it a problem? I guess it just means you can't see how much battery is left. I don't know, I mean, can you leave, an, can you leave it erroring or is that going to cause a jump scare? B. On, on. Good, that's good. Whoa, what did I do? I didn't do anything. That wasn't me. Sit tight. We're going to be fine. Nobody touch a thing. Good. We're good. Cool. Right. Uh, safe spot is on D. Let's clean up the front room a little bit. And then we'll go upstairs. Okay, that's good. Had to be. I imagine you guys found me just researching for something, probably like myself, looking either to see how I experienced something that you've already played. I don't know. I just, 
YouTube is so... The words to describe it are... I hope we don't lose the innocence of YouTube. It's changing. The drama is on the increase. I can't stand drama. I really can't. I have no time for that in my life. Yeah, if someone's causing drama around me, I'll just walk away from them. Don't give it any attention. It can go to hell. And they're like, these kind of news shows, like drama cut. Dra what is it? Drama alert. That's it. Keemstar. He talks so much shit. I talk shit, he talks even more shit, and he fabricates his own drama. Oh, I, I don't want to get into that, because I don't want to engage in drama in any way. YouTube is great because everyone can make what they want and they can share experiences. And that's all I want to do, I want to share my experience with you. I really do, I don't want fame, I don't want fortune. I just want to create and share. I didn't mean for this to turn into a rant of why I want to be here so much. But it's just in situations like this. Like with Boogeyman, I told you stories about my childhood and how I saw aliens. <laughs> um, this is turning out into kind of a, a story of why I want to be here. That's good. It's good downstairs. I'm actually sat in my chair. My hands actually raised off the desk like, come on, stay alive. It's nearly one o'clock. Creativity is so cool. Everyone has it. Even if you don't think you have it. Everyone has it. It's not gated. It's not for the privileged few. Everyone can be creative. Uh, in my life, I have always struggled to find a way to truly express my creative juices. <clears throat> At first, I wanted to kind of get into animation and drawing. Uh, I left school, I did a work experience course um, at a place called the Animation Station and that would turn out to be bogus. I did cleaning for a week and on the last day they pushed some paper in front of me and said, draw me something. I got so conned, I need the laptop. Oh, but I need A first, go to A, go to A. And I don't know if it's because I wasn't nurtured, I didn't develop my drawing skills, I gave up on drawing. Um, see. Ah, ah, ah. The story continues after this puzzle because I can't talk and do things that require thinking at the same time. Uh, that's there. Uh, two, four, six. That's a nine. Fuck. Two, four, six, zero. Do, 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 Yes. Where's the save point? It's on D. Oh, now it's breaking. I fixed them and they break. Fantastic. Um, my next, like creative output was music. I, I got into bands. I play bass guitar and I still play bass guitar. I haven't given up on music and I have some amazing amazing memories from gigging and not touring but I've done a fair bit of traveling with music. Nowadays I do it for fun. There's no ambition to make it like a, a profession. I just let the music and the enjoyment coming from it consume me. Um, why am I touching that? Go to the laptop. So, here I am now, doing YouTube. That sound, I hate that sound the most. Hang on. The story will continue. Oh, that's shit. 7706. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, safe zone is on D. Oh, D's about to die. I need to crank... Let's get to D, get to D, because we haven't got time. No time. Uh, between doing YouTube and playing music, I have, I've i always had this passion for the Titanic. Get to C. And I, I became editor for some magazines. I wrote articles. Run, 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 run. I did image editing. I got into graphical design. I ended up making book covers for some releases. Um, the death of the Lusit The day the Lusitania died. Um... Uh, there's another like lifeboat one. I even wrote my own book. I tried to get it published <clears throat> And it would have been amazing it really would have uh, but it cost too much money. I couldn't afford it sadly That's a problem money. God I Enjoy creating things I recorded the band's ER oh, get downstairs downstairs. 
I, I engineered and recorded my own band's EP. Um, so making music, um, making computer game videos was just like a natural progression for me. Uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, la 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 la. Six, nine, two, nine. Doop 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 doop. Yay! No, I nearly forgot this one. At uh, that, one of those. Yes. Oh shit! Everything's dying. Get to see so quickly. I didn't see where the safe zone was. Uh, making music, you deal with sound design. I even went to college and studied media. I learned about filmmaking. I learned about storyboarding, about planning what you're gonna do, shot variations, um, marketing. Not quite marketing. I suck at marketing. <clears throat> you know, I've invested a lot of my passions into all of this. We're running out of time, three minutes. So from engineering my own band's music to creating videos was like a natural progression. I, in, yes, we made it. I enjoy doing this very much and I, I'm not gonna stop. My years of, of doing things has shown I will never stop. I don't know if this will change into something else in the future. I, I really hope not because I found my my source. It's like it's like the clouds, the fog of the horizon have cleared, and I know so much now that this is it. This is what all my my training over the years has been leading towards. And if I can't make it doing this, I never will. And on a bombshell, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to bore you of these my backstory and my personal life, but um, I hope it makes you feel like you know me better. I really do. I have nothing to hide from you. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.